Hello everyone, my name is Zai Trooper and welcome back to a, another video. Today I'm showing you guys how to fix your XAMPP MySQL blocked port error that usually just randomly occurs and completely stops your Cubicle or ESX or pretty much any framework and data-based 5M server from running or pretty much any anything that uses a database using MySQL from running at all. It's a pretty simple fix and it's pretty easy and this is usually for those who have gotten the error after it working before in the past. It just randomly happens and this is how you fix it. But if you guys got the error straight away after installing XAMPP, this probably isn't going to work, but you're going to want to give it a try anyway because it is a lot easier than the other steps. But otherwise, you're going to have to change the port. However, I'll make a different video on that for the next video to come or maybe the next video or two. What you guys are going to want to do is go into your file explorer and we're going to go to our main drive that our Windows is installed on. So go to this PC and that is usually going to be your C drive. So you're going to go inside of here and you guys are going to see the XAMPP folder and that is where our XAMPP is installed to. But if you guys cannot find this and you don't know what your main drive is to be installed on, do not worry. All you need to do is go to the bottom here at search, search for XAMPP, open file location, open file location again on the XAMPP control panel shortcut. Just briefly, I wanted to tell you guys about my new website, hcnetwork.one, which actually sets up a 5M server for you. If you guys cannot be bothered to deal with all the management and having to add in mods and things like that, you can literally just check out my website down in the description below, www.htnetwork.one, and you can set up a 5M server in literally just a couple of seconds using the included auto installer, and it will have already over 120 plus mods. That's custom vehicles, custom maps, custom menus, literally everything you guys can need, and you literally did not have to do anything. So check that out down in the description below, www.hcnetwork.one. And it's gonna take you to the same place, your XAMPP folder. And then from here, all you guys are gonna to do, scroll on up to the top until you see all of these folders right here. I'm gonna look for the MySQL folder. Go inside of here, you guys can see I've already done some things. I'm just gonna remove that just for the example. And you guys are gonna to wanna to make a copy of this data folder. Control C and Control V, and we can just leave it named as data copy. Now that's going to be a backup just in case we ever want to revert to our standard data folder. It's here. We're not going to get rid of it just in case. It's a good thing to do. And then from here, what we're going to do is use this backup folder to actually revert our data folder. So usually this fixes any port issues. So all you're going to want to do is go inside of the backup folder. We're going to control A to copy everything. Go back to our data folder and control V and replace the files in the destination. And just like that, we are done. So that is a really good way of doing it. Make sure you don't delete it all because if you delete it all and then copy and paste all the stuff from backup, that is going to get rid of your databases. So this is the best way to do it. And now all we need to do is start our XAMPP on up, start our MySQL, and we should be able to see we have no block port errors whatsoever. But other than that, I hope you guys did find this video useful. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on that notification bell if you guys are looking for the next XAMPP tutorial to come. Because trust me, you'll find it pretty useful if this video did not work for you. And also, I do a bunch of other tutorials on setting up 5M servers. So you're going to find that pretty useful as well if that is what you're into. And also, if you guys are into creating 5M servers and you cannot be bothered to go through all the faff of modding it and it takes hours or even days to get it perfect, then be sure to check out my new website, hcnetwork.1, down in the description below. That literally, with our exclusive HC Network application right here, will install over 100 mods in literally just one click. Pretty easy, pretty simple at www.hgnetwork.one down in the description below and I'll see all of you guys in the next video. Cheers and goodbye.